basically a picture of a small boy. There was sort of an orange glow reflected on his skin as though he was looking at something burning. The world is filled with haunted objects. Seriously, be careful with what you buy because you might end up with a cursed item, like a cursed painting that will drive you insane or a haunted painting that will burn your house down. These are just some of the disturbing paintings that we will be discussing today. Now I say we because this video is in collaboration with the lovely Brie Room. Hey, I'm your other host Brie. Check out my new gaming channel, Viper Girl, after this video if you need some good chill vibes after this ooky spooky video. So make sure you subscribe to Viper Girl to see more of Brie and more amazing content. And now let's get on with the video of the top 10 disturbing paintings with creepy backstories. Starting off this countdown, we have the stagecoach painting. So this painting has a very dark and twisted backstory. So no wonder it's cursed. So in 1994, a photographer named James Kidd took a bunch of photos of stagecoaches in Tombstone, Arizona. However, upon developing the photos, he realized he captured a ghost of a headless man. And then a painter thought it would be a good idea to recreate this photo as an oil painting. So she painted this headless ghost man and the ghost attached itself to the painting. Like seriously, what did she expect? So when the painting was complete, it was hung at a business. But a couple of days later, the business demanded that she take it back. Apparently, the painting was found crooked every morning, despite them constantly fixing it. They also blamed the painting for paperwork going missing and appointments getting messed up. The painting was just bringing them bad luck. So the painter brought it back to her home and she started experiencing bad luck. Her garage roof started leaking, but roofers couldn't find the source of the leak. And when the painting was moved, the leak stopped. That's what you get for painting a photo of a ghost. Wow, what a creepy painting. Let's move on to number nine with the Pyramid of Skulls. Before I go any further, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. So the Pyramid of Skulls is just as it sounds. It's a painting of a bunch of skulls on top of each other. It was completed by painter Paul Cezanne. Now here's where it gets creepy. As Paul started getting older, he became fascinated by death. So from 1898 up until his death, all he would paint are these creepy paintings filled with skulls. This particular piece apparently emphasizes the fact that you need to confront death and reflect on it. Not only that, but his genre of painting is called Memento Mori, which translates into remember that you have to die. So if that isn't creepy, then I don't know what is. Moving on to number eight, we have the Raft of Medusa. The Raft of Medusa was created by Theodore Garrico back in 1819. The painting depicts the real life shipwreck of the French naval Frigette Meduse. On July 5th, 1816, 147 men set sail on this raft. Only 15 managed to survive. But those that did survive turned to cannibalism after being severely starved. Just knowing that backstory makes the painting way darker than it already is. Back to you, Brie. All right, in the number seven, we have the Japanese girl drawing. This is another painting with a very dark backstory. So legend goes that a Japanese student was found dead in her room. This was the last image that she had drawn before taking her own life. In fact, she scanned this image and posted it online for everyone to see. But legend goes if you stare into this girl's eyes too long, then she will get you to take your own life as well. Some who have stared at it for a while have claimed that the portrait turns evil. The girl gets an evil looking smirk on her face and dark circles appear under her eyes. If that's what evil looks like, then I guess I'm evil because I look like that in the morning. <laughs> Making our way down the list of number six, we have the Mona Lisa. Now I know what you're thinking. Lindsay, how is this painting scary? Well, it's not, but its backstory certainly is. So there's this famous urban legend surrounding the Mona Lisa. Apparently a French artist took his life because he was driven mad by the mystery of the Mona Lisa's smile. French artist's name was Luc Mapereau. On June 23rd, 1852, he threw himself from the fourth floor of his Paris hotel. Later, a note was found in his room that read, and I quote, for years I have grappled desperately with Mona Lisa's smile. I prefer to die. Sadly, that's all we know about this case and Luke. It was featured in a 1999 Smithsonian article and in a book from 1966. It's a pretty creepy case. And now I will never be able to look at the Mona Lisa the same. Coming in at number five, we have the Weeping Children. 
The Weeping Children are a collection of paintings created by a man named Giovanni Bragolin. Every painting features a little boy or girl crying. Now it's said whoever owns these paintings will face tragedy. So in this case, all of Giovanni's paintings are cursed. In fact, a string of house fires were all thought to have been caused by this painting. All of the houses that caught on fire were completely destroyed except for the paintings that remained perfectly undamaged. Take the case of Roy and May Hall. This couple owned one of these paintings. Their house unexpectedly caught fire and they almost lost everything, except for the painting of a crying boy that wasn't even blackened by smoke. Yeah, I've heard of those paintings before. It's super freaking creepy. Okay, and at number four, we have Zidzla Bukaski. Look, I know I said his name wrong. Okay, I know I butchered it just move on from it. Now this dude has created a number of creepy looking paintings, but the scariest one is this one right here. It features this weird creature crawling with a bloody wrap on its head. Honestly, it really creeps me out. To make matters worse, apparently this painting is cursed. And if you see it three different times, then you'll die. Yeah, so we all just saw the image once, two more times and bye bye. Okay, I mean, there's no proof that this legend is real. But still, I never want to see that painting in my life ever again. I agree, I never want to see that painting again. Okay, moving on to number three, we have the collage of art balls. Here is another painting that can kill. So this painting is associated with a Japanese urban legend. Legend goes that if you look at this painting five times, then you will die. A little death note, but whatever. I mean, hey, at least it's five times and not three like the other painting Lindsay mentioned. Besides that, not a lot of people know much about this painting. It was painted in 2010, but we don't know by whom. And we don't know why it's cursed either. I mean, it's just a painting of a ball. And at number two, we have Watson and the Shark. This painting is a depiction of a real life tragedy. It was created by John Singleton Copley in 1778. Basically, back in 1749 in Havana, Cuba, a visitor on the royal consort was the victim of a brutal shark attack. He lost his leg in the attack and was badly injured, but thankfully he was rescued. This painting depicts just that which is very dark. And finally, in at number one, we have Man Proposes, God Disposes. This painting was created by Edwin Landseer in 1864. It depicts Sir John Franklin's ill-fated expedition in 1845. This painting is how Edwin imagined their fate would be but little did he know that he created an extremely cursed painting. So this painting is hung up in the exam hall at the Royal Holloway University of London. Rumor has it that in the 1970s, a student took his own life after staring at the painting while taking his exam. All he left behind was a note on his exam paper that read, the polar bears made me do it. Thanks Brie. All right guys, let's move right along to our comment shout out portion. We'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 games scarier than an Ouija board. Oladi Miji Kids, commented, why does Lindsay look so cute in the outfit she's wearing? You know, sometimes I try, sometimes I don't, and I end up wearing pajama pants, but shh. Ronnie McKendra commented, please people get rid of those Ouija boards. They are evil. You don't want to unlock the wrong door. Thank you, exactly. No Ouija boards are allowed in my house for that exact reason. Dr. Jack Bright commented, go to your bathroom at night. Me, WTF is with these games and bathrooms. Seriously. Why, why does it have to be a bathroom mirror at night in the dark? Why can't it just be your living room mirror in the day? I don't know. But because of this, I have a fear of looking at mirrors at night like looking into mirrors, because I'm afraid I'm gonna see something creepy. Minnie Winter commented, oh man, I still remember the Charlie Charlie and the Bloody Mary trend. Ah, uh, those were the days. I remember doing Charlie Charlie challenge back in like the 10th grade. We all knew it was fake, but it's still a little spooky. That's all for today's video. Thanks, Brie, for joining me. Thank you so much for having me, and don't forget to go ahead and check out the Viper Girl channel. I'll see you guys there. Bye, guys. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. He realized that there was a headless, oh, he realized that there was a ghost of a headless man standing on a log besides this. Realized that there was a ghost of a headless man standing on a log beside the stage. Wow. I'm just gonna say ghost of headless man. However, upon developing the photos, he realized that there was a ghost of a headless headless.